I would build Spence into a Sugar Ray Leonard. He's the type of fighter who wants to fight the best. He believes in himself. He's young. He's a good looking kid. He's a fighter that I would love to promote. I believe that he destroys Kell Brook. That's how good he is. But imagine if Errol Spence and the Golden Boy were together. Oh man. Those are the words of <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya talking about Errol Spence. Obviously making his pitch to Errol Spence. Why is he making his pitch now? Does he know something about Errol Spence's contract perhaps? Maybe his contract is about to expire. I don't know. Uh, he certainly has a superstar in Canelo Alvarez. And similar to the way Alvarez was built up as a superstar on Floyd Mayweather's undercards, potentially if Errol Spence was to sign with Golden Boy, it could be a similar situation with Errol Spence fighting on Canelo Alvarez's undercards. And eventually, maybe, a showdown happening between Spence and Alvarez that somewhere down the line. Floyd Mayweather actually came out recently and said that he believes that's what's going to happen. That Spence is going to be the new, you know, man in boxing. And eventually him and Canelo are going to clash. We'll see. To be fair, Floyd hasn't been particularly accurate with his predictions in the past. He did say that uh, Chad Dawson was going to be the next guy to take over boxing. And that certainly didn't work out too well. So, you know, we'll see what happens here with Errol Spence. But I'm just interested to find out why De La Hoya has chosen this particular moment to try and reach out to Spence in this way and hope to sign him. You know, it's interesting. As far as what he said about uh, Errol Spence destroying Kell Brook, is that part of the sales pitch? Is that just to try and massage Spence's ego? Or is this actually what Oscar De La Hoya believes? Now, I know there's going to be a lot of funny comments below talking about De La Hoya being a cokehead and an alcoholic and a cross-dresser and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> and therefore, we can't take anything the man says seriously, which, you know, may or may not be the case. But however you feel, drop it in the comment section below because I'm very interested to hear from you guys. Maybe you've got a different perspective on what De La Hoya has said here. Maybe you've got more information. Uh, but as it stands at the moment, Errol Spence is with Al Heyman. And there are not too many fighters that actually leave Al Heyman. There have been some, but not too many. So these contracts with Heyman seem to last a long time. Uh, you know, some people have left. I believe Varnes Martirosian left Al Heyman recently. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he left. And I think there may have been another fighter as well. So you can leave, you know, once your contract expires or whatever. Will Errol Spence leave? We'll see. Let me know what you think in the comment section, people. It's Hatman, I'm out.